guys, hey guys, hey guys. So today I'm super excited. I got my setup back. Super happy about that. Anyways, thanks to my man for helping me rearrange the room and getting my setup back. So today I'm going to be filming an empties video. This is going to be a long video. So grab yourself a snack and let's get started. So this is a variety of like makeup, tea, skincare, body fragrances, things like that. I'm a huge body spray girl so I have a lot of that in there. So let's get started with this video. So the first thing is a Tatcha face mask that I got from BoxyCharm. Mika and I both tried this together. I have to rate this a 7 out of 10 only because I wish I had more <laughs> and I wasn't able to test it all the way because I only had one um, face mask. But during that time, I felt it really helped my skin. It made it softer, smoother. So I really recommend it if you are looking for something that will give you a dewy, soft skin. But I probably won't repurchase. It is a little bit out of my budget, but it is something that I enjoy. Next up is this makeup eraser. And I, um... I forget how I got this sampler. I think it was a free offer through them to try their makeup eraser. And let me just tell you guys, I loved it. I felt like it was an amazing alternative instead of using makeup remover. Um, it's a great alternative. It takes off your makeup without using harsh chemicals and without pressing too hard. And the actual life, the big, like, not life size, the bigger one, will last three to five years and it's machine it's machine washable and reusable and it even takes off waterproof and smear proof makeup which is true because I used waterproof makeup a lot when I got this and it worked so so good I rate this a 10 out of 10 even though I probably won't repurchase anytime soon because I love my Neutrogena makeup wipes I just love how they make my skin feel I definitely want to purchase it in the future next up is the Equate Beauty rose dry shampoo for all hair types this helps to clean your hair i don't like washing my hair every single day i love using dry shampoo on the days that i don't wash my hair this is supposed to help remove oil sweat and odor i really didn't think it helped remove the oils though i felt like it gave like more oils than taking away the oil so i rate this a 7 out of 10 definitely want to try other ones from the drugstore um, but equate beauty is definitely something that i want to try um, because they had a, a couple different types, I just think this one didn't work that well for my hair because it still felt oily, so yeah. Next up is the Body Fantasies Twilight Mist. I actually have a small and a big size of this. Let me find it. So this is my favorite from Body Fantasies. I love the Twilight Mist scent because it has a more of a... Um, stronger scent so it's almost like a perfume in my defense because I remember wearing this and it lasted almost three to four hours and I would carry this in my purse to refresh it up and this one I had at my house but I always got compliments every time I wore this one it's one of my favorites it's my go-to I've been using this for a couple of years now and I've always repurchased it it's definitely a 10 out of 10 it's like a strong a really strong candy like scent that's all I can describe it it's just an amazing scent a scent that I run towards all the time and I always stock up I'm actually repurchasing it this weekend because I ran out next up is the sea witch tea that I got during owl crate when I was subscribed to owl crate and it was called sea witch and it's from riddles tea shop it's a decaf earl gray and hazelnut spice tea I honestly love this tea, you guys. I loved that I was able to get two cups out of it. Mika also really enjoyed this flavor, which was really awesome. Um, and also, I love the packaging. Um, it's definitely an 8 out of 10. Um, the only reason why I'm rating it 8 out of 10 is because I probably won't repurchase it. Only because I get all my teas from the grocery store or from, like, you know, a, a store in general. Um, I usually never buy teas online, but this may, may actually make me want to buy online because I actually miss this flavor but it's still a 7 out of 10 for me <clears throat> then I have two of these I think these were from a spring edition um, body fantasies 
This one is Japanese Cherry Blossom and then this one is Sweet Pea Fantasy. I honestly love the purple one more because the Sweet Pea has more of a sweet scent, sweet florally scent. I love this one because it has a florally candy scent and I love candy scented body sprays. I don't know what it is. I just love it because I feel like it's a little bit more scented and it's also more stronger. Like candy based body sprays I feel last longer on me and they're more scented than the ones that have more floral or more muskier to them. So yeah, I definitely rate this one a 10 out of 10. This one is a 5 out of 10. Probably won't repurchase because like I said, Twilight Mist is my absolute favorite. Next up is Lux Perfume Perfumery. This is also a fragrance mist and it's in Vanilla Rose. This was something that I also got a lot of compliments on. I ran out of my body mist or the Twilight Mist from Body Fantasies and I really needed something to have. And let me tell you guys, this was something that did last for a long time. It was about four to five hours. Um, I did carry it in my purse. I resprayed it only twice in the whole entire day. It was a scent that I got a lot of compliments on. It has a sweet vanilla -y candy scent. That's all I can describe it. It's definitely a scent that I would repurchase. It's definitely a 10 out of 10. <coughs> Next up is another Body Fantasies, and it's the Fresh White Musk. I didn't really like this one. It was definitely a 3 out of 10 for me. The only reason why I liked it is because it had a scent that my grandma used to have, and that's the only reason why I would wear it and use it, but it's definitely not a scent for me, but I really loved it because it reminded me of her. The only reason why I would probably repurchase it is to spray on my pillow or a teddy bear to remind me of her, but that's it. Next up is some mascaras. So I have a couple different mascaras. I'm not going to look for all of them, but I have two in my or three in my hand so far. So I have the Benefit Bad Gal Lash. Or no, Bad Gal Bing Lash, sorry. This was a favorite mascara of mine. I hate that it was a sample size, but it's definitely a 10 out of 10. It lifted my little lashes, and let me tell you, it made me look like I had Fossey sometimes, so I really recommend this. Next up is the CoverGirl Flourish by Lash Blast. Definitely not my favorite. I've never been a CoverGirl mascara kind of person. I've always went for Maybelline or Elf or Too Faced. Definitely not one for my t taste likings, so I would say 5 out of 10. Definitely not worth it. And when I mean taste likings, I don't mean because I eat it. I mean like my style. It's not my style, I should say. Next up is the Tarte Big Ego. Again, not my favorite. Um, I think I got this in the boxy charm. I did not like it at all. It's very clumpy. It dried super fast. And I just didn't like the wand. So it's definitely a 5 out of 10 for me and definitely not a repurchase. Next up is the Wet n Wild photo focus foundation and this is in porcelain so I have to say I did not like this foundation at all um, it's not really good for dry skin um, I have another one that I am testing out again it's not good for dry skin I definitely have to put loads of primer and lotion and something to smooth out my pores and my skin because this makes me really look cakey so this is definitely a 3 out of 10 definitely not repurchasing I have other foundations. Sorry that I'm going like in completely different, um, like out of order type way, but I'm just reaching in the bag. Next up is the Fit Me uh, Foundation by Maybelline for normal to dry skin, dewy plus smooth. This is definitely my top foundation from the drugstore. It literally makes my skin look super, super good. It makes it look flawless. You can't even tell that I'm wearing foundation and I just love, 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 love how it makes my skin feel after I take it off. It's not too heavy, it's not too light, it's just right and it gives your skin that nice complexion. Next for our foundation is the Revlon Color Stay. Now this is combination oily, yes I got the wrong type, um, but it worked perfect for my skin. I still had to add some primer and some lotion underneath. But it lasts a very long time. It says it lasts 24 hours. I can't quote on that because my skin, I usually, my foundation usually starts coming off about 5 to 10 hours. 
um, especially in the summer when it's hot and stuff. But I feel like this did last longer than 10 hours. It made my skin feel amazing. It looked flawless. It reminds me so much of the Maybelline Fit Me. Like, I'm not even joking. Um, what else can I say? Um, it felt lightweight. I didn't feel like, I didn't, I didn't look cakey. I didn't feel cakey. It was just an amazing foundation. And also the packaging makes it easy to, um, put on your beauty sponge. Next up is this English Laundry Perfume Sampler thing. I didn't like this at all. This is more of a musky, mature scent. I didn't like it. I think I got this from BoxyCharm, and I, I used it because obviously I paid for the box. But I didn't like the product at all. I definitely don't like musky, really bitter type perfumes. I really like candy scented stuff, if you guys haven't been able to tell. <laughs> Next up is Milani's Prime Perfection. Sorry, a lot of my stuff is really gross because they're all in together and stuff is like leaking and all that. So this is the Prime Perfection Face Primer. This is definitely one of my favorite primers from the drugstore. I think Milani and Maybelline are definitely my top two drugstore favorites because they have so many great products and they've never disappointed me at all. Like I've bought new stuff from them and I've loved it. This is definitely something that I would repurchase. It's definitely a 10 out of 10. By the way, that perfume was like a 2 out of 10. Next up is the Touch and Soul No Pore Blam Prime Essence. So this was also from BoxyCharm. I loved this thing. This thing was so amazing, but it's definitely a 9 out of 10 because it is a little bit out of my price range and I wouldn't repurchase it. But if I ever have the chance to get this again from one, like, because I'm going to sign up for BoxyCharm again. And I'm hoping that they bring some of their re, like, not replay, what, what would you say? Like, I hope that they bring some of their things that they've offered in previous boxes back. Because this would be a thing that I would ask for because this was an amazing product. Um, it did what it said it's supposed to do. It made my skin feel very soft. It literally hid my pores. Um, usually you can see like dots on my nose after I apply foundation with this. I couldn't see them at all and it is an amazing product. Recommend 10 out, 9 out of 10. Only one point off. It would be a 10 out of 10 if I could repurchase it but like I said it's out of my budget so it's a 9 out of 10. Next up is the Kiehl's Calendula Serum Infused Water Cream. So this is for your face. This product Oh my gosh, you guys, I am in so in love with this product. Yes, it's out of my price range, so it's definitely a 9 out of 10 again. But I would use this every time after washing my face or cleaning off my face with makeup. I would use this product and it made my skin feel so amazing. I always try to use it before bed because it would literally soak in while I'm sleeping. And the next morning I woke up and my skin felt super amazing. It didn't feel dry. It wasn't itchy. Um, it was even helping a lot of my color pigmentation on my face. I don't know if it's supposed to do that, but it really helped with the redness. Um, it was taking it away here and there, and it was making it lighter, so I really want to try to repurchase this. But for now, it's a 9 out of 10 because it is out of my price range. Next up is something else that I got from Alcray. It's the Little Mermaid Bath Salt. And let me tell you guys, I was in love with this. This was an amazing bath salt. It had little like floor, flower petals in it. Um, it smelled amazing. It literally smelled like you were in the ocean. And I got to use this two times. I definitely have to say it's a 10 out of 10. Definitely something I would repurchase. Um, but yeah, it was amazing. Next up is another foundation, and it's a foundation that I absolutely dislike. So, I wanted to try this Vermal Stay Matte Liquid Mousse Foundation because it said it was lightweight and shine control and ivory. Again, it was my mistake because I bought a Stay Matte one knowing that I already have dry skin, but it didn't feel lightweight on my skin. I don't know if that was because it was dry, but it didn't feel lightweight at all. It felt really heavy, cakey, itchy. I do rate this an 8 out of 10 though because I'm pretty sure it looks better on people with oily skin, but with my skin it didn't work. Um, but I do like Rimmel London's foundation. I did try something that was for my skin tone and it actually worked good. 
So that's why I'm giving it 8 out of 10, only because of my dumbness I purchased the wrong one. So I wouldn't repurchase this one. <laughs> Next up is a pocket bag. So I always sanitize my hands before and after doing my makeup because I do touch my face when I apply some foundations and some liquid things. I do touch my face. So this was my last pocket bag. I had about 20 to 30 pocket bags. This was my last one because I didn't like the scent. It's pink champagne. Definitely rate it a 1 out of 10. I wouldn't repurchase. Way too... Yeah, way, way, way too candy for me. Um, It has a really deep candy smell. Like a bubbly smell. Definitely something I didn't like. Next up is Hula by Benefit. This bronzer, guys, is a freaking out of this world bronzer for people with light skin I don't know how well it works for people with dark skin but for me I always had trouble finding bronzers that worked for me that looked natural like a skin kissed glue Hula Benefit is all the way the best bronzer for someone with my skin I always got compliments I loved how my face looked it was so easy to sculpt out my sculpt sculpt yeah sculpture sculpt yeah sculpt out my face structure contour and all that and it was not overpowering this is definitely a 10 out of 10 and i do want to repurchase this and i think this is a need in your makeup collection if you have light skin now dark skin i think they might have something by benefit that's a little bit darker i love benefits bronzers i'm just going to be completely real with you guys like this is one of the best ones i've tried Next up is another body fantasy. This is Love Struck, one of my other favorites. Very candy scented, but it's not too overpowering. And it lasted a very long time, again, about three to four hours, especially with me taking it and respraying. Next up is this body wash by April Bath and Shower Cherry Blossom Scent. Definitely not my favorite, two out of ten. Made my skin feel itchy, wouldn't repurchase. Next up is this Beauty Sponge by Real Techniques. The reason why I'm doing this is because I don't know if you guys saw my post but on Instagram, but I am a type of person that goes through my makeup and I get rid of stuff that's expired because if you didn't know, makeup does have an expiration date and you can get infections and you can get like styes. I got a style on my eye once from using an expired mascara, so I'm very cautious now and I throw out old makeup. That's why I try not to buy too much anymore and I just use what I have because makeup does expire sort of fast and you want to try to use up your products. You want to get your money's worth. Now if you're a makeup collector like I used to be, like I wouldn't use my own makeup. But because we live in a small apartment and I don't have a lot of space and I don't have my own makeup room, I just have everything in here. So I got a new sponge for my sister-in-law and I had this one for about almost two years. So I was like, it's time to throw it away, but I wanted to do a review and tell you guys, this was an amazing dupe for the Beauty Blender. I feel like this does an amazing job, and it has three different sections. So it has this part right here, which is really good for, like, getting the spots right here. This is really good for under the eyes, and this is good for the face. I was obsessed with this sponge, so definitely a 10 out of 10. Definitely the sponge I'm going to get next is the Real Technique one, because it just works Super duper amazing. Next up is this Found Stardust Illuminating Makeup Setting Spray. I didn't like this as all, at all. I don't know if you guys can see in the bottle or not, but there's like clumps. You see it down there in the bottle. It started clumping and it just started having a weird smell and it literally got everywhere. And I didn't like it at all. Um, I felt like it didn't really set my makeup. It felt tacky. Um, definitely Urban Decay Setting Spray or Milani Setting Spray is definitely one of the best ones. Speaking of that, I have a Milani Setting Spray. This is like my 10th bottle. Definitely my favorite setting spray. Um, this is definitely a dupe for Urban Decay. Um, I feel like it does make your makeup last all day and it gave me a really nice dewy feeling and it just made my makeup radiant. I love that about this product and it's so similar to the Urban Decay one that I've tried so this is a lot cheaper than Urban Decay so that's why I keep repurchasing it. It's a 10 out of 10. 
Next up is this Garnier Skin Active Mixelair Cleansing Water. So it's a makeup remover. So I got this in like a little gift set from Walmart. And let me tell you guys, this is an amazing product. It's good for sensitive skin and all skin types. It didn't burn or anything. It takes really harsh makeup off right away. And I used it with like a cute, like a cotton circle thing. And it only used like two cotton circle things to take off one eye, which was awesome. And you don't really need a lot of this product. But I rated it a 7 out of 10 because I wish it was bigger. And I wish, I wish it was a little bit cheaper for the bigger bottles. But... I would definitely repurchase. Next up is another primer by Maybelline. This is the Master Primer. This is a primer and base. So I would use this for my eyes and my face. And let me tell you guys, I love this one. Not only does it hydrate, but it smooths your skin and it makes your makeup last all day. And also, if you have dry skin, this is one of the best primers from the drugstore that you can get. I just have to rate it a 9 out of 10 because of how small it is. Oops. I feel like their baby skin is a little bit bigger than this and it lasts a little bit longer than this but I wish it was bigger. Next up is the Kiss Lash Glue. I love the black one because it just makes it so much easier to hide. I mean when you put false lashes you want them to look as realistic as possible and the black one was definitely my favorite. I have to rate this a 10 out of 10 and I already repurchased some. Next up is the Kiss 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 lash glue in clear so i got this one in clear because i don't like the white one again definitely a 10 out of 10 it does what it says it's supposed to do and it's clear which is even better because i don't have to overpower the black you know so it just makes it easier to hide the lashes and make them look realistic then i got the tarte base tape so this is also a primer for your eyeshadow. This is definitely something that I would repurchase. Um, it is a little bit on the expensive side, but primer is a necessity. This worked amazing for my eyeshadows. I felt so, so good using this product on my eyes. It made my shadows blendable and made them stick well. There was no creases in my eyeshadows. I really recommend this 10 out of 10. Then I got some eyeliners here, which are all by Wet n Wild. So, I have two of the Mega Liners. One is brown, one is black. Definitely a 10 out of 10. I love my Wet n Wild Mega Liner eyeliner. It is just amazing. They make the perfect wings. And yeah, I'm just so in love with these eyeliners. So this is definitely something that I would repurchase. Last but not least, I have... Well, that's not the last thing. The Wet n Wild H2O Waterproof Eyeliner. I love this, but it was really a pain in the butt to get off. Um, I've tried waterproof eyeliners before, and this one actually does what it says it's supposed to do. It took a good scrub to get this off, but I wouldn't repurchase because, like I said, it kind of hurt my eyes, so I would say 7 out of 10. Last but not least is the e.l.f. Eyeshadow Primer. Now, let me tell you guys. I am an Urban Decay Primer Potion girl all the way. I've used up so many primer potions from Urban Decay, it's not even funny. I totally, totally, hands down, will always buy Urban Decay Primer Potion. But, because I've been on a budget for the last couple of years, I've had to stick to the e.l.f. Mineral Eyeshadow Primer. And I dislike it all the way. So that's why I started using face primers. Because face primers... They have more of a silicone base, which the Urban Urban Decay Primer Potion also feels like it has a silicone base. So it glides right on my eyes. It dries super duper fast. The only thing I liked about the e.l.f. one was it was my skin tone. So it would cover up the veins and stuff like that. But the Urban Decay Primer Potion and the face primers that I showed you, and also this primer has like a silicone base for your eyeshadow. Which makes it not only last longer, but it makes the shadows not look cakey. Because if you have dry skin, let me just say you guys, dry skin is the worst to have. Because not only does your face look cakey, your eyes can also look cakey. And I hate that. I hate that, hate that about my skin. Is that it's super duper dry like that. That if I don't have lotion or like a primer with like a silicone base, like it's a really soft, oily feeling. Um, 
my eyeshadow and my face will look so bad and I will not want to go out in public like that so this is definitely a 4 out of 10 only reason why I liked it is because it covered the veins on my eyes and it's chic so but yeah that is all of my empties yay I get to throw it out now <laughs> I've had that in the bottom of one of my drawers for the longest time and I'm just like, I need it to get out of here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this long video. Make sure to thumbs it up for more empty videos. And also let me know in the comment section what you thought about all the products. Have you tried them? What are your thoughts? Have they worked for you? Have they not worked for you? And until next time, stay beautiful, my unicorns. Peace.